Guardians made a move before their game with the Tigers today. They recalled Brian Rocchio, sent Hunter Gaddis uh, down to AAA. Now, they have an off day tomorrow, so they'll skip Gaddis's turn in the rotation. He may be coming back up, or um, they may do something else. I want to talk a little bit about Rocchio. Um, what have you seen from him? We saw Tyler Freeman come up and have a couple of hits, another guy that started the year out, and, and then he got banged up a little bit towards the end of that game, uh, second, first game of the doubleheader yesterday. What have you seen from those two guys in the early season? Well, you know, before Freeman's recall, he was just hitting everything in sight, and there were no leaders or 17 hoppers. Everything was, was well struck from Freeman. And going crazy on the bases, already five steals, um, you worry about him a little bit because he gets hit by more pitches than anybody I have ever seen. He's already been hit by seven pitches this year. He has more career hit by pitches than walks, uh, and he doesn't crowd the plate. So it, it's just one of those anomalies. Uh, and when a guy gets hit a lot, obviously there's injury potential. That didn't have anything to do with what happened in the doubleheader. He was playing defense at the time, but boy, he was playing with a ton of confidence. No, he didn't hit well in spring training, and. Once the season started here, things got going for him pretty well. He had a stretch where uh, over two days against Worcester, he had uh, a total of nine hits and reached base ten times in those two games. So he was striking the ball with authority. He doesn't have a ton of power, but he's got gap power, and he's already hit a couple of home runs for the Clippers this year. So, you know, A, you hope that he's healthy and he can contribute up there uh, with whatever time is, is allotted to him. You know, he was called up as a, a replacement for Daniel De Los Santos, who's on the paternity list. So that's a, a short-term recall. Now with both he and Rocchio up there, assuming that they're both healthy, the Guardians will have an interesting decision to make. Uh, Rocchio, they're both middle infielders, and they've been play, uh, playing back and forth between second base and shortstop for the Clippers. But, you know, we saw Rocchio a little bit at the end of last season, showed more power last year than he has this year with a few home runs at the end of the of the AAA season. Uh, but this is a guy that can hit from both sides of the plate. Switch hitter that uh, has looked good from both sides. Defensively, you can put him on either side of second base, and he's going to do a good job. And he likes to run a little bit, too. He's driving in runs. He's getting on base. Um, I, I think there's a lot to like. Now, he's also very young. Freeman's very young, 23, and, and Rocchio is even younger than that. So uh, it's going to take time. These are both players who are in the developmental stage of their career. But they can contribute. Obviously, the Guardians have enough confidence in them that when you need somebody on the roster at this time, there's somebody that you can call up. So that's that's a good sign for Guardians fans.